Hi, it's Sylvia. Today I'm building Elko connectors and I know you want to know all about this. Here's an Elko connector. And here is one of the pins that I'll be using to build these Elko connectors. Just a little pin. We're going to be crimping a lot of these. All right. This is the task at hand. I've got a mic patch panel with 24 lines in this beautiful cable. And every time I patch a mic into this box, I want it to appear in this patch bay in the new studio. Well, the patch bay is terminated with Elko connectors. So I have to get those mic signals into these Elko connectors so they appear in the patch bay. When I ordered the cable from Cordial Cable in Germany, I asked for it to be sent with bare wire ends. So here's my snake. This is my mic snake. And the end has bare wire. Now, I need to get all this wire into this connector so that I can hook it into the patch bay. Here's an example of what I'm going to be doing. This has been crimped. All the conductors, each one of these conductors need a crimp pin on it. Take a close look at what we've got here. See, you can see that each one of these, each, each wire has three conductors. There's a positive, there's a negative, and then there's a ground or shield. And the idea is that you put a crimped pin on the end of each of these, it connects very tightly, and then that gets inserted in a certain order into this connector. And then this connector then fits into the back of the patch bay. And we have contact. All right, what do we need to get started? Let's take a look. Well, you need, you need these. You need these Elko connectors. You need pins. I got a whole bunch of them because I got a lot of pinning to do. Here's a crimping tool. Wire stripper. Scissors. Uh, lots of heat shrink. Now I've got clear heat shrink I'm going to use for the shield or the ground wires. And then I also have black uh, heat shrink for the individual um, channels. And I've bought a whole selection of black heat shrink and I've already prepared some of this uh, heat shrink so that um, it's ready to go. So I've already cut them. So I use the scissors to uh, cut pieces to get them ready. Also, very handy to have an extraction tool. Now, when I pin uh, and put those pins into the Elko, sometimes they don't quite fit, and you need a special tool to get them out. Also, for the heat shrink, you need a heat gun. And finally, some sexy librarian glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Let's begin. Let's see, what are we going to do first? Um, all right. Well, let me show you what I've done so far. I'll just move these things out of the way. Right here is a cable that I've been working on. And I did some advanced preparation for this. And I'll show you what I did. Here's the cable as it was. Just bare wire ends. And I strip back each one of these ends here. And let me get a closer close up so that you can really see what's going on. So I strip back each one of these conductors. And what I have to do is I have to put a, a shrink, a, a, a heat shrink on um, the ground wires. They can't be bare like that. So I've got this clear heat shrink I'm going to put on each one of these. And then I'll put the end of that into my crimping tool and put a pin on it and then put one of those pins on the ends of each of these wires. It's a very tedious job. I realized after I cut these all back that I'm going to have to strip them back more. So I'll just show you how I'm getting started with this and we'll come back later and see how I'm doing. But I wanted to show you 
the advanced preparation. I put the, uh, the hood for the connector on the cable and some loose heat shrink that hasn't been um, tightened down just so that I don't have to fool with that later because it's going to be much harder later to put these things on. And then now I have one of those little black heat shrinks on each one of these channels. And that's going to be slipped over the end and then tightened down over my finished work. The final step then after I pin all this is that it'll go in the connector and it's going to fit into the back of that patch bay. And then I'm going to test it all. But I need to strip these back farther because uh, my first um, attempts at this, uh, they, uh, the crimps didn't hold very well. So bending the end over on itself, like I just did there, will help secure that pin. All right, look at that. All right, so let me secure this down here. And I'm going to uh, get my whole thing set up here and we'll join together later to see how I'm doing. All right, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun project. And wow, what great cable this is too. The cordial cable is the best in the world. Did I, did I tell you about it? It's German oxygen-free cable. Uh, I went to their factory. It's amazing watching them make this cable. So I'm very excited about this project. And thanks for joining me for this. I'll be back.